What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, Bring you our 2015 NFL Draft Special. We're going inside the war room with the Carolina Panthers. We're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible selections to help fill those needs. But first, let's start this video off by taking a look at the upcoming selections the Panthers have in this year's draft. First, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. Number one, these picks are based off what I would do as the GM of the football team and what I believe the team needs are. And second, these rankings are my own personal rankings, which you can find on our website at footballgameplan.com slash NFL draft. And this is not indicative of where I think these guys will actually go in April's draft. First, let's take a look at some of the team needs for the Carolina Panthers. I do think they have to get help along the offensive line, more in particular at offensive tackle. Wide receiver is still a big concern, in my opinion, outside of Kelvin Benjamin. And defensive depth, I think, is still a need at the D-line, linebacker, and even at the secondary levels. In the first round, I went TJ Clemmings out of Pitt, 6'5", 309. I love his ability to play either left tackle or right tackle, and again, would just instantly upgrade that Panthers offensive line. I'm a big fan of Michael Johnson out of Delaware, 6'2", 210. He's your quintessential Z wide receiver and would be a perfect complement opposite of Calvin Benjamin and what he can do after the catch. He's explosive and also can help you out as a kickoff returner. Although the Panthers recently signed Charles Tillman, I think they still can use some younger depth in the secondary with Craig Mager out of Texas State who had an excellent week of practice this year at the East-West Shrine game. Doubling down on the receiver position with DeAndre Smelter out of Georgia Tech at 6'3", 235, a guy that's going to be coming off an ACL injury, but when he's healthy, he's an outstanding target and does a lot of damage as well after the catch. Will Schwartz out of Saginaw Valley State is a guy that had tremendous game tape, both defending the run and also getting after the quarterback and would provide quality depth up front for Carolina. I'm a big fan of Houston Bates out of Louisiana Tech at 6'1", 245. I think he's your ideal sandbacker, a guy that can get pressure on the quarterback, but also you feel comfortable with dropping back in coverage. While you may not trust him versus the run or may not trust him in the deep third, Gerard Holloman out of Louisville is a guy that definitely finds his way around the football and has the great ball skills to pick it off. Getting help along the interior offensive line here with Mike Marbo out of Idaho, who's very strong at the point of attack. This is a guy that can move defensive linemen off the spot on a consistent basis at 6'2", 296. I like Xavier Cooper's ability as a rotational defensive tackle in this Panthers defense, a guy that can play well in spurts, and that's all you want from a guy coming off the bench. 6'3", 293, had an outstanding career at Washington State. So let's recap my 2015 Panthers mock draft, and as you can see, I was able to add offensive line help receiver help, and also depth on the defensive side of the football at every level. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Panther Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support. <laughs> 